Okay, probably the question that I get asked most here at the lake is, how's real estate at Lake of the Ozarks? I know a lot of people, you get to hear market updates from around the country and all over, you know, we hear all these market stats from the news, uh, but what about here at Lake of the Ozarks? And so uh, this update is gonna be for January 1 through April 30th of 2024, as it compares to that exact same time frame. Uh, in 23, so the first four months. Um, the other thing is that you need to understand about Lake of the Ozarks is that there's a lot of sub-markets here. Uh, there's condos, off-water homes, lakefront homes, town homes, commercial and lakefront lots and off-water lots. But the really the, the three main, what everybody really wants to know is about residential, right? And those are breaking, broken up into condos, uh, lakefront, homes and villas and off-water homes and villas and so those three things when you're looking at volume historically have made up about 90 percent of the market that shifted a little bit just because of the average price of lakefront homes um, but historically that's been the case it's shifted a little bit just in the last few years but we're going to look at all those and just kind of break them down but when you look at the overall market when you just kind of look at everything clumped together uh, transactions are actually up 1.5%, which was kind of surprising. I thought it was gonna be down a little bit, but it's up 1.5%. But average price for everything is up 5.5%. But when you look at residential, residential transactions are actually down 3.4%. Residential includes condos, lakefront, off water, uh, homes, and townhomes. And so when you, you look at those, they're down 3.4%. But when you look at average price, it's actually up 10.5%, which I was totally, Totally surprised that. Um, I keep waiting for the market to flatten. Uh, we've been saying that we th thought it was gonna flatten for a while and prices just continue to tick up. Um, the other thing is that you, the media loves to throw out uh, one of those hooks or catchphrases, you know, they make it seem like the sky is falling and they'll talk about how much transactions are down or up. And uh, the reality is, is that for the really for the consumers, transactions don't matter that much. It's mostly about average price. We want to make sure that the value of real estate uh, continues to rise. Right? It's it's when prices tank that it really affects people. Transactions, not so much. Uh, when you start breaking those down, when you look at probably when you break down off-water homes, lakefront homes, and condos, really the the brightest part of that has been off-water homes, which again, to me, was completely surprising. They're up 20% in transactions and they're up 10% in average price, uh, which really surprising to me uh, that, that we'd be up 20% in transactions on off-water homes. When you look at lakefront homes and villas, uh, we're actually down 7% in transactions, but average price on those is up 18%, which is, again, uh, mind-blowing to me that we're up I think these the next the next eight months we're gonna flatten out there but these first four months have been really strong uh, and average prices just continue to rise when you look at condos the number of transactions are actually down 25% which I'm sure some people are gonna grab a hold of that and throw it out there that the market is down 25% but when you look at average price average price is actually up 4% so Again, unbelievable uh, investment. Re uh, real estate at Lake of the Ozarks continues to be an awesome place to, uh, to buy second homes, to buy primary homes, and to buy investment properties. It can, they continue to be, uh, if you're buying an investment property, not only are you making money on the investment, but you're also uh, making money on the appreciation. And for tax pur purposes, if it, if it is a true investment, you can depreciate it and, uh, and not pay so much taxes on your other stuff. So. Uh, overall market continues to be to be really solid we think it's going to continue to maybe flatten a little bit for the next eight months but if uh, if the fed actually lowers interest rates at any time we feel like it's going to to really pick up and uh, people have seemed to just kind of get used to the higher interest rates uh, at the end of the day these higher interest rates really aren't that high when you look at them historically so if you have we by the way, we have a ton of stats. We've got it broken down by days on market, by uh, 
by uh, each little price point in these sub markets. If you ever want any more information on the overall market, please let us know. Um, I love to shoot you some of our quarterly reports we do. Uh, if you're looking as a uh, builders and contractors and bankers love that just to kind of see trends in the market. So uh, that's your update on real estate here at Lake of the Ozarks. And again, if you value uh, where you spend your time, there is no better investment than a home here at Lake of the Ozarks. And if you've got any other questions or if you need any help with any real estate needs, we would, uh, we would love to be your go-to person on that. Uh, give us a call at 1-800-836-2005. We'd love to take care of you. Thanks.